Welcome to The Simpsons Complete 16th Season, episode GABF12, the Emmy-nominated feature drama. <laughs> Original air date, April 17th, 2005. I'm Al Jean. I'm Matt Selman, writer of this Emmy-losing episode. Mike Anderson, animation director. I'm John Vitti. Mike Reese, big fan. Tom Gamble, big fan of Mike Reese. Max Pross, I came because I heard Lauren McMullen might show up later. Uh, I don't know where she is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm John DiMaggio. I'm uh, Bender the Robot on Futurama, and also in this episode. Well, actually, John uh, DiMaggio, we are here to talk about another of your parts, but it's not that. It's the Steve Ballmer in Pirates of Silicon Valley. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> so, <laughs> nice. I yes. got to tell you, I love that movie. Really? Seriously? I did, and I loved Steve Ballmer. Weren't you the guy at one point that turned to the camera and said, uh, this was the biggest crime in history? Yeah, 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 pretty I much. I love that moment. That yeah. was a really great technique. Well, thank you. That was, a, that, was a, that was a fun job to do. I appreciate that. We had a, we had a fun time making it. I just wanted to ask, did you meet the real Steve Ballmer? Uh, no, I never did. But I did meet a bunch of Microsoft executives that freaked out when they met me because I was Marcus Phoenix in Gears of War, and, and Gears of War is a Microsoft product. And so I went to this shindig, and they were all there, and they were like, wait a minute, Marcus Phoenix is... Is Steve Ball? This is you're blowing my mind, dude. <laughs> so that was kind of fun, but yeah, yeah. That's thank you. I appreciate that. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> now that's all you. the time we have. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you guys later. That's Thanks. what you were tuning that's in great. for, folks. <laughs> Thanks for the lunch. <laughs> Matt Selman, do you want to talk about your inspiration for future drama? I would love to, Al. Um, <laughs> it, the inspiration of this was, I believe, an interview with Matt or. One of Matt Groening's frequent quotes is, the reason The Simpsons is good is because the characters can never get older and you'll never have to see Bart and Lisa as teenagers. So I said, what if we saw Bart and Lisa as teenagers? And uh, that was the inspiration, one of Matt, breaking one of Matt's rules, which is always fun for us. So Matt, according <laughs> to this episode, this, this is 2012 now, right? So you, you're actually predicting where, where we sit right now. Are we five, in real life is five months behind this episode? <laughs> yes. So it looks like you got about 90% of it perfectly right. Yeah, yes. and you predicted Romney would get elected. And <laughs> <laughs> no, the president the president still has his head, so that's good. Lisa looks great. She has aged very well. I like the way all of them look. Um, Homer and Marge are sort of subtle because so, they're only eight years older, but um, you can tell where they're getting to. We're separated now. You can't just walk in without knocking. Well, maybe I was partying. I don't know why we don't do more of these episodes because we've done four. One won an Emmy, two were nominated. They, like, they're oh, really I thought you meant we did one four years ahead. This is eight years ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Still do 12. We can do three weeks ahead. Yeah, well, we do everything two years ahead. <laughs> All our episodes are kind of like past episodes. That's another rule, too. We break with the eye lines under Homer. I mean, it makes him older, but... The only thing he's got going, he's got one hair instead of two and a, a bag under his eye. Is he heavier? He's a little bit heavier, and he wears a funny belt. Okay, there you go. It's uh, Bender's belt, actually, I think. Yeah! <laughs> Bender! <laughs> favorite belt, baby! He Bender's here! <laughs> Where's my part coming up? Oh, Bender's it's, in It's the moving slow! <laughs> <laughs> Last year, we're bam! It's all over. <laughs> Look out! Here goes the robot. <laughs> now, Jan, you're also on Adventure Time? Yeah, that's a, yeah, as Jake the Dog. One of the, uh, Jake the Dog and Finn the Human are the main characters. I'm Jake the Dog. It's a blast. That's so much fun. And, People are freaking out about that show. I was just in Australia, and it was nuts. It was the people were just, I mean, they're nuts about uh, Futurama, but they're crazy about Adventure Time. It's weird. When you go from Adventure Time to Futurama, you go back to a normal, easy yeah, time <laughs> that's to understand. Just, you know, that's when the schizophrenia <laughs> pays off. It's all right, you know. You just. I've yeah. been a voice on uh, Adventure Time, too. It was a bad guy called The Firm. Yes, that's right. Yeah. I can back him up on that. Tom I mean, was well, playing Gatsby the Gasping Mule. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty much. <laughs> and I was playing Tom. Yeah. <laughs> but that's Amy Poehler, right? That's yeah, Amy Poehler is Jenda, Bart's girlfriend, kind of manipulative teenage girlfriend, senior year girlfriend. She was still on Saturday Night Live when she did this. She did this from New York. Right. She was not on Parks and Rec yet. And they still listen to old music eight years in the future. Uh, Skinner really aged a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, probably the most fun thing is like, and you thought of a lot of them, was, you know, what's Millhouse? Oh, he's pumped. You know, like just taking the characters and saying what would be like a hilarious difference from their current look. I was thinking this morning, one of the secrets of The Simpsons is that Skinner wears a toupee. 
and we would, we would always write it in and take it out, but t- somehow the toupee is receded and turned white. <laughs> <laughs> no, and we tried to do a toupee joke, and it didn't get a laugh, so yeah. we made it real here. Oh. <laughs> <It's> a, <laughs> I don't know what he's got. So Kearney is the principal here in a sort of in a wild send-up of how the Fonz became <laughs> vice principal in the later, greater years of Happy Days, which were... In the in our show, like the way, earlier way years, early. <laughs> in the classic <laughs> years of our show. Yeah, I remember the for me the jump the shark thing was when I turned on Happy Days and Fonzie was the principal. And I was like, <laughs> how did that happen? The hoodlum <laughs> is now the principal. That's a great hallucination, there, Mike. Yes, we love doing hallucinations. It's the favorite of all animators. I really love these designs, though. These she looks so good. Those faucets are actually like contemporary <laughs> <laughs> you see how snidely i said contemporary <laughs> <laughs> by the way lauren congratulations on record ralph that was oh, one thanks. of the best yeah. animated movies of all time so you guys all saw it i saw it fantastic loved it. i loved Great. it enjoyed it it was a true pleasure to work on really it was fun it, was it looked really like so fun. much work it was a lot of work, but it was uh, it was a lot it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of uh, ex Simpsons people, really a huge amount. So yeah, we know. Did you have a lot of? <laughs> <laughs> well, some left quite a long time. Ago, so. <laughs> no, no, I, I I thought it was brilliant. The backgrounds, it's, like I couldn't believe. I want to just see it again and again. Did you have a ton of candy in the offices? We did. There, someone made a huge model out of candy of the of the end of the race thing and it, it sort of all the texture mappers get really into like the details and they made a whole huge field of frosting to see what happened if they threw a toy spaceship in it i think wow. m- mostly for our own pleasure but that wouldn't have lasted 10 minutes in the simpsons <laughs> office <laughs> <laughs> by the way how can bart's girlfriend be so sexy but bart like is still <laughs> like, <laughs> he's like the least romantic half of a kiss how did he land her that's a good story all right, so we'll do one a show about Bart in 10th grade that takes place after the show where he was a senior. <laughs> <laughs> I think when you pitched this, one of the things was Krusty dating Marge, right? That was yes. really funny. Well, we really wanted Homer and Marge to be separated. That was one of the fun things we were excited about. I mean, originally we sort of thought about it as kind of a, a American graffiti with kind of a loose structure of just like one crazy night, the last night of high school. But then we went back and put in more of a real story. Well, the other thing, like, it's good you can do in this episode is say, <laughs> eight years in the future, folks. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you know Homer's separated from Marge on the show, I do recognize it. Like, there's no suspense to anybody watching. Right. This does kind of resemble that bad RoboCop outfit on the internet that everyone was insulting. For the new RoboCop? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we predicted the new RoboCop. Yes. Speaking of Halloween outfits, Matt Selman has one that's made the rounds on the internet. That's right. If you do an internet search for the phrase, Jewish guy. <laughs> <laughs> About num- number eight is me dressed as a character I call Juverine or Jewish Wolverine <laughs> with kind of a Wolverine, modified Wolverine costume with big Jewy sideburns and menorahs for claws. <laughs> but the funny thing is that's how he dresses to work. <laughs> I'm glad there's a funny thing about it. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, should have been a character in Inglorious Bastards. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't have heard. Stupid flounders. Hey, I've got a great idea. We'll find some new lady friends. There's the toupee I've been waiting for. <laughs> it's a, it had a tag that said Skinner on it. <laughs> Realistically, will we be living under the ocean in the future? It seems like it's going to be harder than ever. This I like, the realistic. They haven't cured how to go up and down and water pressure yet. So what do you do to kill time in here? There's a DVD player, but it doesn't work. <laughs> DVD, in the future, the DVD player. Oh, are we coming oh. up on Bender? Here comes Bender. Oh, yeah. He's coming up. <laughs> <laughs> the robot's going to make an appearance. Can you dig it? <laughs> yeah, here it comes. With Steely Dan. Can you dig it? Oh, yes. <laughs> So funny, I forgot that Stilly Dan was playing when this happened. There he is. Right. You guys are my new best friends. <laughs> you win, loser. <laughs> <laughs> you put that in post, right? This guy is <laughs> Why not? I think a Homer Bender team up team up movie would be pretty good. You know, hey, let's pitch it. Come on, people. Matt is always saying, he goes like Futurama, the more Benders the better. Simpsons, more Homer's the better. <laughs> Oh, this this joke I, I remember it. got an enormous laugh at the 
table, the one with Mrs. Krabappel. Marsha came oh, in and yeah. read. That was yeah. like the, big, the biggest laugh ever at the at any read. Boy, I think I see my two favorite letters of the alphabet. E, Z. <laughs> you moron! I don't think Homer ever successfully scored while they were single. That's right, Homer's available. I'm struck by how many things we do in the, in the other the future clone episodes. In that series? <laughs> <laughs> Clones are universal. <laughs> yeah, that's my fourth grade teacher. <laughs> Oopsie. Hi, Mrs. K. <laughs> this is sure weird, huh? Want it to get weirder? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't think so. Good call, Bart. We can both do better. <sighs> I wish I could talk to my fourth grade. Now, son. these episodes directed him, Mike, it's like a Christmas, a uh, um, Halloween episode in yeah. difficulty, right? Well, because there's so much new design, and, and uh, it's especially difficult if the characters are slightly different, like Homer and Marge, because people just tend to just draw them normal. Do you have to like, send whole new model packs and instructions to Korea yes. and, and every inch of it? Yes. Although, luckily, it's only eight years in the future, so we can still use the old kitchen. So no changes, no subtle detail here. The fridge looks fancy. I love that fridge. <laughs> <laughs> Costington's has a futuristic font. <laughs> Millhouse smash. The starter stash is great. Yeah. I love this, too, the way his last... <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> I had a starter stash like that in my high school senior photo, and nobody told me to shave it. <laughs> my parents didn't. I had really. a sideburn that you could see at a certain angle if the light was right. <laughs> when I went to college, people thought I was Latino. Because <laughs> the way my mustache looked and the lighting. That was how you got in, actually. Uh, uh, uh. Well, too late for them. <laughs> <laughs> Adios, Harvard. <laughs> I got nervous when I watched this that there was meat on that sandwich, but I... Uh, it's a weird kind of cheese. F future cheese. Future, future cheese. cheese. She tosses the whole vegetarian thing. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, hey, Krusty the Clown is dating your mom. That, that's a great neck. <laughs> that neck is. <laughs> when Jenny hears about my great new career, she'll definitely take me back. I like how we just happened to see the scene where the kids found out. <laughs> it's really helpful to our audience. Yeah. You missed. So aren't the octuplets this old now? And <laughs> how old are the octuplets? We haven't seen them for a while. And Apu's super old. <laughs> <laughs> He's a yellow submarine old. <laughs> <laughs> no, the octuplets are the thing that really screws up continuity. Clearly they were born in season 12. Continuity is gone. Well, there's a blooper too. There. Those He's... freak me out watching this. Apu's selling film, which is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Matt, how could you not have predicted the demise of film? <laughs> yeah, we didn't call that. You know, actually, I recall the artist coming in saying, what do you want me to do with these horny clams? <laughs> <laughs> They're unicorns. Unicorn clams. Don't move, teenage. Everybody's let themselves go. <laughs> <laughs> but nobody seems to have really changed what they do. Or... <laughs> Dude, this is totally not the time to call me. I don't know. Some kind of pasta. Look, just get me what you're having, all right? This is based on every moment of every day of our lives. <laughs> <laughs> Ordering lunch. <laughs> yeah, we eat lunch before and after these commentaries and during the middle. You know, I was thinking Burns has that wrinkly lip, but he actually looks younger. He does. He looks great. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'll send you to Yale with the Monty Burns Scholarship. I can't take your scholarship. It's going so when's the next Bender scene? <laughs> <laughs> well, too bad for you, buddy. <laughs> Ain't no more Bender in this one. <laughs> no more pop for your drop. <laughs> Where'd the voice come from? The voice came from three things. Um, well, we don't have time for that. <laughs> no, you do. <laughs> It'll be quick. Uh, uh, um, uh, oh, goodness. Slim Pickens. Okay. Um, every drunk at the end of a bar in the Northeast, and uh, a friend of mine did a character called uh, Charlie the Sausage Lover in college, and he, it's a fun, fun hole, you have all kinds of sauces, sauces, you know, yeah, hot sauces, dry sauces, Italian sauces, Italian sauces, <laughs> Italian sauces are great, you have German sauces, German have worse, worse, They're different kinds of sauces, and so you put them, you know, the slim pickings and that, and then, yeah, just, just you throw do them a, together. Can you do a solo slim pickings? Oh, can hot 
in the hell in the wide, wide <laughs> world of sports is it going on? <laughs> I told you boys to come out here and lay some rail. I, I won't finish it, but then, <laughs> then you have every, you can, and I'm going to tell you something about this. <laughs> <laughs> Simpsons, I'm just going to do it. Um, and you throw them all together in a blender and you... You got blender, baby. Wow. <laughs> swinging him, swinging it. Oh, hook's foul. Wow, it's that easy. What is it? What is the craziest situation you've done Bender in, like in real life? Um, I think uh, when Bender turns human and the fat is breathing and making noises when he's already dead. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just... That's what he's doing the whole time, but it's not. It's a it's a pocket of air being squeezed out. Really kind of gross, but <laughs> I love the f uselessly floating mortar. <laughs> <laughs> I always thought the future. Everything's always floating. You go, why? Yeah. <laughs> what advantage? It's, it's an expenditure of energy that's enormous, and nothing floats. Nothing's invisible, and nothing floats. See, but Jenda looks good in any outfit. <laughs> Come and get your diploma. Why don't you mail it to your butt? Bart, now that you graduated, I can finally say this. You really press my cider. <gasps> <gasps> he said cider. Uh-oh. <laughs> I think there's a little bit of biff from Back to the Future here in, in Nelson. <laughs> it's a great sweatsuit. <laughs> oh. He's pretty sexually active. There is an implication here. By the way, this was the first, for me directing the water, Underwater House was the first of a stretch of the next four shows I directed are all have water themes. <laughs> <laughs> Love that Nelson roided out. I mean, Millhouse roided out. I'm not the first guy to get a nosebleed during a slow dance. I think everybody knows a guy that did that. <laughs> there, was, I, there, was a, there was one guy in my high school growing up in Jersey. And he was, I didn't recognize him as soon as he graduated. He got all roided out. Also, also they they work their upper body crazy and they <laughs> and don't they the ignore bi the legs. <laughs> they got nothing. It's hilarious. It's just like all biceps and chest. They even do. They look ridiculous. <laughs> Is that jacket sort of a Back to the Future future jacket? Maybe. I wouldn't want that. Do you think Lisa might see that now that she's got nothing else? I also like his mullet. Hmm. <laughs> Mullets, had, <laughs> mullets came back. <laughs> yeah, they had several cycles. This Did they ever make figurines of these characters? No. A they bender. <laughs> 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 yeah, baby. <laughs> I think I was working out a lot when we wrote this, so I had lots of quads and delts material. <laughs> <laughs> but you ignored your legs. <laughs> no, 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 that is. Hey, here's a little information, people listening at home. Work the legs the most. That's your big calorie burners. You can eat more. Forget the vanity muscles. Pound those legs. <laughs> Nobody listening to this exercise. Is... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who, who do you think your audience is? <laughs> People that accidentally bought oh, this Frank. instead of a yoga video. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be romantic? I'll tell you what would be romantic. Making love for the first time. So, for example, you, n you never met Amy Paula, right? You just met no. her over the phone? Tim Long has known her for a long time, though, from his New York comedy life. You know, I was thinking of taking a poetry class. This is our first future show that can look into a different few show, <laughs> future show. But that's actually kind of consistent with the future future. Mm -hmm. The holidays of future past. Can't let that happen. I gotta go. Listen, Bart. We should edit all the future shows into one movie, make it HD, and then set, put it in theaters. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think it won't happen. <laughs> <laughs> Three cooling towers. Three cooling <laughs> towers. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> it's a great parody of two. <laughs> we thought for like three hours on that. How many <laughs> cooling towers? Can I kiss you? Um, have you eaten onions lately? No, but it's really hard because I'm on an all onion diet. You know, this thing where you see Milhouse's lips coming at the camera was actually a lot longer. I'm glad you guys cut it because it <laughs> really got grotesque. Yeah, I think we first did that Selma and Skinner. Yeah, it's a really creepy thing. How mad thing. do you guys do get at the cuts we make? Um, <clears throat> well, early in the game, we used to get, like, why'd they cut all this great stuff? But when you watch the show later, 
years later, you realize, oh, because it played better without it. Well, this one I'm pretty sure was also at maximum length, you know, because there's a clip at the end under the credits, which yeah. I think we only could do because we, you know, you know, we had time in the credits for it. And that. A good survival skill when working on this show is if you like something and it disappears, learn to never think of it again. <laughs> <laughs> or, or never remember it existed. And you will, you will do just fine. There was a really funny meeting when Jim Reardon was supervising director where we went to film Roman and he had this big stack of stuff. And we said, I wonder what that is. He goes, this is what you cut from the last show. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, whatever happened to him? <laughs> also wreck it Ralph. Sure, a lot of that candy stuff came from Jim's imagination. <laughs> <laughs> it, the movie did make you very hungry for candy, like mm-hmm. insanely hungry. He was responsible for all the heroes' duty jokes. Really? Uh, yeah. <laughs> really? It's a really funny movie, too. Yeah. Uh, really hilarious. The voice performances are great, too. That's rich. He was really uh, good with all the actors and cast them all really well. And, and he's one it, of them, right? He's two he, parts. He, he actually two? did a ton of scratch for Ralph and... King Candy, almost impeccably. Like, wow. There are actually a couple of reads that he did that I prefer, actually. Oh, he's so. really funny, a sour oh. bill. Yeah, and he's a oh, sour he's bill. A, yeah. yeah. So everyone, please watch Rick and Ralph <laughs> yeah. and Futurama. Futurama. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey. Isn't that right? Isn't that right, Bender? Hey. Bender, yeah, what else? That's right. Keep on watching. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, do it. And Adventure Time, too. And Adventure Time. <laughs> Everything that John DiMaggio is in. Pirates of Silicon Valley. IMDb. <laughs> Do it! <laughs> Amazon.com! Netflix! <laughs> oh boy!